Hello, first graders. Welcome to our new science lesson. Please get be a scientist notebook ready and let's start. We're going to start with the second lesson, plants and their parents. In the previous lesson, we talked about seed and seedlings and the life cycles. We learn also about uh, plants can be grown through either planting a seeds or part of a plant or the whole adult plant. Today, we will be talking about plants and their parents. Let's see, we have three friends here in the garden talking about, uh, saying about some information, but one of them only is um, making sense or she's right. All right, let's read. Which friend had the best idea about young plants? Joyce said, I think young plants look exactly like their parents, exactly like their parents. Melinda said, I think young plants look like their parents, but can have some differences. So they look alike. Yes, when I plant this, it will, if I plant this seed, it will be a sunflower seed, but it doesn't have to be the exact, um, exactly like the, the, the parents. Portia said, I think young plants look very different from their parents. So is it Joyce? When, he said, when she said that plants look exactly like the parents or Melinda when she said they look like the parents but there would be some differences and little changes or Portia said, I think they look so different, very different than their parents. So which choice you think? Which girl saying um, she had the best idea? Joyce, Melinda or Portia? Well, if we agree with Melinda and you choose Melinda, you're right, because young plants look like their parents, but can have some differences. Yeah, they could be maybe different colors or different shapes of the leaves or even different number of the leaves. So Melinda was right. Yes, that plants will look like their parents, but there would be some changes and some difference. So we're going to say here, we're going to say we agree with Melinda, that Melinda had the best idea. And why, why, what are your explanation? Because we say that some plants, for example, may have, some plants may have, Um, shapes of the leaves or different colors. All right, so we agree that plants look alike, but with some differences or little differences. Okay. Let's go for next page. All right, page 171. Look at the photo of the tulips. How are the tulips alike? How are they different? What question do you have? Okay, let's watch that. Tulips. Okay, can you see? I see different size of leaf, for example, and definitely lots of different colors. All right, so let's go and ask our question. We saw now the picture and how they're alike and how they're different. So let's, what question do you have? We can say, for example, um, why they are coming different colors, right? So we can ask this question. Why are the tulip um, different colors? And also ask um, 
as we see here, red, remember we saw some red, some yellow. So are all the red colors look alike in everything or all the yellow tulips are the same? Like all the yellows would be the same, all the red would be the same. So we can ask this question also. Are all of the red flowers exactly the same? Or all of the yellow flowers are they exactly the same? Or they come in different size? Or they have different shapes? We'll see. Okay, so let's turn the page and go for page 172. All right. Now, what we need to do, we need to explore. Observe plants. How are two plants alike? How are they different? Make a prediction. How are the same kind of plants different from each other? If we go for the same picture, we just see about the tulip. They are, as we see, they are the same plants, but we can see difference in colors or different in sizes, right? So we can say some here. Then the two plants may have the same, might have different numbers of leaves in different colors, but they are the same for the same plants. So how are the same kind of plants different from each other? How they can be different? As we say and we saw now, the two plants might have different uh, numbers of leaves, of course. Or different, as we saw, in colors. Or how about sizes? Do they all come in the same size? No, different sizes too. And I'm gonna show you another picture over here that you can see different colors of the flowers, see the roses, and you also see different sizes. So you get small size, big size, you see the leaves as well. Some leaves are different and the color. So it could be for the color, different colors, different uh, numbers of leaves or different size. All right, so this is a prediction, but we know that uh, seeing the picture help us to come up with these questions. All right. Now, page 173. Now you're gonna put you record your data or you put your information, draw the two plans, you observe and use the table. So as I told you, I put for you here, I'm gonna put them out again, these flowers, and then the tulip that we have it from our video. And then you can just say plants one and plant two. Which plants did you see? You have the roses and you have the tulip and you saw that, um, you're gonna write down that the plants, what you saw, the plant, uh, the roses comes in different sizes or it comes in different colors and so do uh, the, uh, the other plants, the tulips, if you decided to. Okay, tell two ways that the plants are alike and tell two ways they are different. So again, if we look to this picture, how the two plants are, are how uh, roses or the plants are right. And we can see they are alike because they're all uh, roses. So we know that they're all roses, but what's the difference that some of them are bigger, some are small, and also comes in different colors. So they, are both roses 
right? Or both tulips, if you use the tulips, or any other plants. You can use pine trees or palm trees. You can use anything just if you have access, you have a picture of something or you have on a book, you can look and observe this. You find the similarities, they are alike or the differences in uh, other things. But we can say also they are both um, come, no, let's say they also come, so this is alike, they are both roses, so this is alike. And what's the difference? That they are comes in different size and different colors. All right. So they both are roses and they both have the same look, the same look or the same design of the roses when they grow, but they come in different size and different colors. Also the leaves, you can see some of the leaves are different uh, size. Okay, that's it for today, first graders. Thank you. Bye-bye.